Welcome everyone to Avatrade live Q&A webinar. My name is Daniel and I will be giving you the webinar today. Before we will begin, as always, I would like us to go through a quick sound check. So please use the um, question section to comment that the sound is okay for you. By the way, I have to apologize for not uh, doing the webinar in the past two weeks. I had some uh personal difficulties and now we are uh, back so today at the live q a we're going to go through several things thank you joe susie excellent freddie great okay thank you also great so we're going to go through a few things that were uh, first of all i i think it might be a good idea to go through the structure of the live q a and then we will begin okay so as you can see first we're going to go through the previous questions we have our team prepared a few few lovely questions for us to um uh, to go through and then we'll have the dynamic questions this is the true purpose of the webinar guys that means that this webinar is created to let you guys ask whatever questions you want and i will put them right here okay right here those the uh, the dynamic questions it's the second part and on the last part uh sorry that's not the last part this is before it's a little more informative i'll send you some links here to um for education and some other things and on the last part we'll have analysis now as i always say if the questions will regard analysis and we will go through several things in the uh, basics that i wanted to show you so i'd rather do it as a part of a question and not uh, waste time on that as well okay but we'll see we'll see we'll begin and we'll see how it goes um i gotta say that the webinar is recorded anyway so guys even if you didn't understand the things on the first time or even the second time you can see it again we have the recording uploaded to youtube uh, hopefully later on today okay and any capital markets and trading information disclosed in this webinar is provided for in federal of purposes only it should not be constructed or applied as an investment advice recommendation or a suggestion okay so guys as i said feel free to ask whatever you want along the webinar regardless of the topic that i'm uh, that i'm showing hold on something here that i would like to get rid of okay all right so i'm gonna go and make sure that the webinar is recorded as we expect and then i'll be back and we will begin thank you very much okay so everything seems okay let's find ourselves a nice nice uh, uh, notepad to there we go okay and we will go through like i said the questions that uh, we received okay so the question is uh, the first one how can I know how much money I need to open a position okay pretty good senior question mark is it possible to receive signals with AvaTrade very common question okay how long does it take to learn to trade well it's an interesting one who I who can I address when I have a question okay what is support and resistance mm-hmm okay so i think we're gonna answer the questions we're gonna prioritize by their difficulties so this one is very light this one is very light let's begin from the beginning i think this one is uh, very easy as well okay so before we will begin i just want to explain about the interface a little bit for the people who don't know where i am this interface is called a web trader and you access with your email and password through the website right you log into avatrade.com and you're gonna see the uh, you're gonna see the platform otherwise you can contact your account manager or the customer service and they will fix it for you this is like I said the web trader very very similar uh, app that is called uh, avago Okay, so we have a, this one is through the browser, the other one is through the device, um, and you don't have to you, you don't have to download anything. Okay, so how can I uh, know how much? Actually, the, I would rephrase this question to what's the necessary amount to open a position. But uh, sure, we'll keep it this way. How can I know? Okay, 
So one of the things, uh, there is a question here, copy trading, if I copy trade, earn $100, trading fee is $10, do I pay performance fee based on 90, actual profit, or do I pay performance fee? This is an excellent question, let me just paste it uh, where it's, it should be there we go okay yeah okay i will uh, thank you uh, jojo i will address this in a minute maybe a bit more as soon as i uh, wrap it up this part so how how much money do i need practically this is the question so one of the ways is if you see this interface right here, if I click sell or buy, it's gonna open the sidebar here with all kind of information. One of the things is called margin impact. Now, that's a result. Let me let me begin from uh, maybe something very, very easy to understand. Hold on. Gold, right? I don't know why I searched it manually but I could type in gold and pick it from the list okay uh, yes yeah. so the necessary amount to open a position so how can I know what is called margin impact which is right here is a result just a second I'm gonna write down a few things margin impact also known as margin requirement now each of the things here is pre presented. It's one of the advantages using the web trader. You see, everything here is presented very, uh, very nicely. So the margin impact is a result. Okay, is a result of if I'll divide a vi uh, the value by the leverage. Now, what what does that mean exactly? The price here, 1950, is the price for one unit. That means that if you see by default, it already it already has 10 units, but I could make it one, right? Oh, sorry. I was referring to the load size. There we go. Okay, you, you know what? N never mind, never mind. I think let's keep it as 10, then it will be more interesting because one is easy to uh, calculate. Okay, so the price here, 1950, is the price for one unit. Now, if I'll multiply that by 10, the result is 19. 1500 okay and the leverage here 120 is actually a multiplier that increase or multiply my buying and selling power meaning logically if I multiplied I could just divide this by that interval meaning the 19500 can be divided by 20 yeah which leads me to nine hundred and seventy five dollars uh there is another question i truly jojo this is very depending on the case i gotta say that i think now that you wrote another one i think you might need to address your account manager uh and see the contract that you you've you've agreed on because I just don't know the particular case, but yes, the way that you wrote it, it makes sense. I just don't want to commit anything because I need the particular the particular case. Uh, Susie, please, can you explain how to utilize signals when you come to signals? Yes, of course, Susie, of course, no doubt. I, I have a question here somewhere that we, um, somewhere here, right? Don't worry, I, I will explain about it, of course uh yeah so as i was explaining this is very simple guys so the value is a result of how many units right this is how many units multiply by the price which leads me to the value which value the value of this position this is how this is how much it's worth right now the leverage multiplies my uh, selling and buying power which means that i can just divide a value by the leverage and i'll know the necessary the, the necessary amount you should know that the leverage is um is individual and not the, the leverage that I have here is not necessarily the leverage that I have for the account. I'll give you an example. If I'll pick 
as it is an example, the um, leverage for Apple might be different, one to five. The average for NASDAQ might be different, right? But maybe it's not. Let's try crude oil. It might be similar. You see one to 10. So every asset has its own leverage, means the calculation needs to be uh, adjusted. The way that I've done it will stay the same, but the numbers might change and the leverage might change. Okay, but as a formula, value, sorry, value divided by leverage equals margin impact, also known as necessary amount. Right, is that understood? Do we have any question? Anybody has anything to ask? Anybody, any questions, something? Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, all clear, okay. If all clear, so we can proceed. Let me just put the answers right here at the bottom. Oops, okay. Let me try and somehow, I guess. This could have been maybe a little higher. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that would make that would make sense. Let me just somehow, there we go. Okay, is it possible to receive signals? There is a question here, why multiply by 10 at first? Because, who wrote this? Elisha, right? Elisha, I want you to pay attention to what I'm looking at right now. Oh, sorry, let me go back. We had the goal then, right. The reason, <clears throat> the reason that we multiplied by 10, sometimes we have to let it load, there you go, is because I had 10 units. I had 10 ounces, because with gold it's ounces, right? If it would have been like that, so my value will be 10 times higher. Let me take uh, some other number, 25. You see still, still, the numbers will match. Just a second, my calculator is somewhere. Maybe, oh, there we go. You see, uh, 1951 multiplied 25 is still the number over here, which is the value. And if I'll divide it by, t by 20, I come up with this number, yeah? So still, to get the value is units multiply the price, and to get the margin impact is value divided by leverage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's carry on. Okay. So the question is: Is it is it possible to receive signals with Ava Trade? So I'm gonna minimize this guy and I'm just gonna go to the signal sections, which is here. Guys, again, let me remind you: this is the Web Trader. I'm gonna go all the way to the left. See at the left side, we have some nice menus, gonna, uh, some nice features. Click, oh, sorry, click on the uh, signals, and there we have it. Um, let me pick something as an example. There we go. See, I just picked something. Uh, I'm gonna maximize this a little bit, and now I have a signal. What are signals, guys? Signals are instructions what to buy and what to sell and when. Meaning, as you can see here, I have some definitions. I have some support and resistance. You know what? Let me also gather the other question, and then we can have two birds. There we go. I'm just gonna explain on a nutshell what uh, support and resistance is, and then it will be easier for me to explain about the, the signals. Okay, so is it possible to receive? And we have what is support and resistance. So as you can see, support and resistance are actually edge points on the chart. See, there are certain levels here. Let me go back to weeks. We're not gonna see it. Or we are seeing it. Yes, I think we do. Maybe this one is weekly. Never mind, never mind. I just see a few, few days. Okay, never mind, still. There are some levels here. 
some levels I want to believe that those are weeks yeah those are no doubt those are weeks 58 okay this is where it's at right now the blue line is where it's at actually for us that's the gray line uh, and we have a price that is slightly up let me try and change today's maybe still it's a bit difficult to see see that the price here the signal last uh, 3.6030 we have a take profit 6440. It means that this needs to be here. There we go. You see, if, if it doesn't let me land it on a specific point, what I'm gonna do is just to click it and just define it from here. So 3.644, oh, that didn't work. Three, three point. No, nope, that doesn't work. Three point. No, nope. some reason. I should have maybe I should have start from here. Three point six four four zero. There we go. Finally. So this is our goal for a buy scenario. Yeah, let's let's suppose that the green line is where we aim, right? See the take profit. What is the take profit? Take profit closes the position with the profit if reach if reaches that price. Okay, we'll see in a moment. We'll see how much we can gain, how much we can lose. Okay, so 3.6440 is where it's at right now. Uh, and the stop loss is underneath at 3.5855. Let's see if we can have this one manually or we'll we'll have to use the uh, secret weapon. You see, it doesn't let us do it, but still, we're not going to give up and have the exact number that we want. Make it red. That's the stop loss. Now, take profit stops the position with the profit. It closes closes the position with the profit stop loss closes the position with the loss it's stopping me from losing more so stop loss and take profit is a take is a taking the profit if it, if it would have been a sell scenario things would have been um things would have been i think that's the opposite yeah it's exactly the opposite okay i don't know if you see but it says right here to take profit for a sell scenario is here and the stop loss is here. The reason is support and resistance, guys. What are support and resistance? Support and resistance, this is for, uh, as an example, this is one of the resistance. Okay, this is another one. This is another one. Okay, and there are many, many more. There's another one. Now, this is uh, as an example for a support, right? One of this. We also have the guy over there, but I'm not sure if you can see it. Many, many uh, resistance and support. Obviously, we try and acknowledge the, the recent ones. We don't want to go too far uh, unless it's really uh, necessary. I mean, unless the uh, copper is heading this way, 3.8, what's more relevant is this guy and the one behind it, right? This one is lower than that, if it makes sense. Okay, so support and resistance are eventually edge points on the chart. They are in different levels. And what the signals are doing is indicating what could possibly help you with analysis. Okay, so why, why do I say help you with analysis? Because signals can be used from two flavors. One, I'm just gonna follow exactly what it means. So I'm just gonna click here by and it's gonna send me straight to copper with everything already predetermined. The take profit, the stop loss, it's already there. I'm just gonna click buy and it's gonna launch it. Or, and then I can see the potential result, how much I can gain, how much I can lose, perfect. Or I can just look at what the signal is, is giving me. I can just see the analysis and I can decide 
whether to enter now, whether to enter later. I should consider though that if I'll wait, the efficiency of the signal might decrease because of something called momentum, right? Because the signal is based on what we have now. Um, in other words, I should take advantage. If I decide to use this signal, I should remember that it might expire. Okay, it might not be as efficient as it is now uh, because of what I've explained. Again, support and resistance, if it passes a certain point, so the laugh between the, st the stop loss and the take profit will be valued uh, differently. Okay, there is a log there is certain logic that uh, maybe I'll speak about candlesticks in, in after the question. I don't want to get tangled. And then to go back, uh, is this so far, guys, this segment, is it understood or was I too fast or everything is clear? Anything, guys, any response will be great. Okay, then. But how do we use them? So Rachel is asking, how do we use them? Rachel, uh, as I've explained, there are two examples. One is I'm just going to click and it's going to launch what it already has in the system automatically. This is one way. The other way is that I'm just going to uh, enjoy the analysis and do my own thing. That's the, oh, support and resistance. You mean how to use support and resistance? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, there is another not quite clear yet. Sometimes they say they've already been reached. Yeah, so exactly, Susie. This is what I've explained, that signals has a certain level of efficiency. I can't wait forever and use a signal. Yeah, it's not going to be as viable as it was a, a minute ago. Now, Rachel, your question how to use it, I apologize. Uh, I thought you meant to the you referred to the signals, which is fine. How to use support and resistance is a very good question, okay? But I would rather finish the this part with the signals, and I will explain about candlesticks and su support and resistance at the same time. Uh, yeah, so let me just paste. Hold on, the answer is it possible? Yes. You may click on sell or buy and it will uh, place the position similarly to the signal or uh, use the signal, signal as analysis. There we go. Okay. How long does it take to learn to trade? Okay. Can I address what? So this one is very easy. This one we already answered. Edge points chart support lower points. Under the price, distance, higher points, above the price. Okay. All right. Uh, let me just minimize that. Perfect. Who can I address? So we have two individuals, two um, places where you can go with a question. Uh, one is called the senior account manager. The other one is uh, the customer service. Okay, or the live chat. Um, yeah, there's there's no much to say, guys. Customer service will give you support with everything related to customer service, and a senior account manager can give you support 
through uh, the process from the trading side. So including things that I'm explaining, a senior account manager can recap it for you or explain anything else regarding calculations, analysis, anything else basically that you need because usually our account managers are also traders. Uh, how long does it take? Okay. Guys, how long do you think that it takes to learn how to trade? To your personal opinion. I think this is the first first time that we received such a, a wonderful question, right? How long does it take? Does it take a year? Does it take two weeks? It takes five years. And what do you call also the the that you know how to trade? What would you define? If somebody is uh, trading for five years, does that mean he knows how to trade? Or he just understand how to trade, but he doesn't know how to trade? Because trading is made out of a few things. You have risk money management. You have the budget. You also have analysis. And what else do you have, guys? Who thinks that psychology is part of trading? Psychology is part of trading or not? What would you more value, the technical side? What do you think that is more important? Let's suppose that I've learned. I read books, I saw tutorials, I took uh, conventions and many, many lectures, and I have all the knowledge that I need to practically make a lot of money. Does that necessarily mean that I will be a trader? And does that mean that I'm done learning? <clears throat> also need the skills. I can't agree Mark, uh, more, uh, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Uh, you need the skills. But I'm asking, does that mean, wh what do you mean by you need the skills? So let's suppose that I read and I saw tutorials, endless of knowledge. I, I consumed a lot, a lot of knowledge. Does that mean that I'm going to be a trader or not? Or also there is something that I need to do to practice, to practice. So that means, look, exactly, also Elisha, but my point is, if I don't practice something particular, and I'm going to learn about stocks and commodities and so many things and indices and currencies, I'm going to be as, as diverse as I can. But I don't specify and I don't work on the psychology. Will I succeed in trading if I keep running different directions? and I, I don't try and have consistency with a single thing, will, will this work or not? You can't shoot everywhere. Okay, so that, that means that, look, if I'll practice one thing, as an example, and I have something that is, uh, hold on. All right, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, it seems like one of our facilities just got stuck. I didn't understand why there is no screen. Just hope that the screen is back. Let me try and bring it back. Yeah. Guys, if, um, if you can see the screen, that will be great. Because for me, it seems like the screen is back. But I'm not sure if it's back for you as well. Just a second, I'll try and refresh. Oh, 
there we go there we go now i i can see that it's back for you as well you can see that it's back for you as well so as i said the idea behind this question is very very nice so to learn how to trade is made out of uh several things first i must understand that the the, uh, the technicalities that means that i need to understand what is leverage and what is margin and to do the right risk money management because if i don't fulfill a certain level of margin uh then my positions are getting closed i need to understand the certain basics right but eventually eventually if i'll practice a single asset like uh platinum just as an example okay platinum doesn't have a lot of fundamentals because it correlates to the dollar and it's part of uh, something called safe havens okay but the demand and supply uh doesn't control platinum as as other assets right so that that means that if platinum is is considerably high it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody started demanding platinum and 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 uh yeah it works a bit differently it works with something called fundamental analysis because the economy goes one way so certain metals like gold and platinum and silver and some others can respond to that that makes sense not supply and demand supply and demand could be good for something like oil never mind never mind it's not uh I didn't want to ex uh, explain about analysis too much, but the idea is I need to know the basics up to a certain level, okay? And once I acquire those skills, I have to practice. I have to practice with the asset that I pick to know that I'm in a sufficient level and that I can carry on with ease. Again, as I read in the disclosure, the way that I do it and our approach doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that it's mandatory for you to do the same right you can try platinum and 20 other assets but as we have as uh, we understood the psychology part here is significant and psychologically if i succeed with one asset and i uh, and i accomplish consistency with uh, i don't know a hundred dollar a thousand dollar ten thousand dollar it doesn't really make a difference but what i have once i have consistency and this asset i have a good grip with its analysis and i understand its tendency volatility so i can move on to another one and i can it's not exactly the same but i can give or take correlate what i have done with the first asset and just multiply that okay that also takes a lot of time but that could be a very efficient way uh, to do it in other words uh <laughs> with as much as i i want to give you a number how long does it take to learn how to trade is not a question that i can give a definite answer okay so but i'm going to give some kind of an answer once you understood the logic behind okay risk money management budget management uh, analysis and analysis you can always work sorry work on your psychology and perfect your strategy did she right therefore there is no definite answer so somebody can learn how to trade in a week well it's not really common right maybe somebody can learn how to trade in a month somebody can have it in a year somebody can do it in i don't know how long but eventually if you practice and you're making some kind of progress ooh, what what the hell did just, just happened here okay that's not the way that i i thought it would be many many things maybe now it will look different there there we go yeah once you understand the logic behind okay that looks good and perfect your strategy yeah 
Yeah, so everybody can do it in their own uh, pace. All right, uh, we are done with the question that we received. That leaves us uh, time for the question that we received from the audience. Guys, I only received three questions. So Rachel, support and resistance, I hope that you're, oh, I didn't, I think I didn't explain about it. Let me just put here. Uh, what was the question? How to take advantage, right? So how to trade support and resistance, sorry. Yeah, and the question from uh, Jojo. Copy trading, if I copy trade earned 100, trading fees $10, new iPay performance fee based on 90, or iPay performance based on 100. Um, I think 100, I think based on 100, but again, it's not, um, you should consult with your account manager for your particular case. I don't want to, you know, uh, mislead you or something. Could be, uh, okay, my personal opinion. Okay, I just don't know. I don't want to mislead you. Uh, how to trade suborn resistance. Trade support and resistance. I'll get to that. Do we have any more questions, guys? Otherwise, I'll carry on with uh, uh, who asked this? Rachel, right? Right here. How to trade support and resistance. Okay. Question here by Mr. Uh, Pete. Okay. Have you got any emailed question about AI offering? I don't, I, I'm not sure I understand your question, Pete. If you can elaborate, that will be great. Support and resistance, guys. So support and resistance, as you can see in every support and resistance, there are those famous candles that looks, uh, I don't want to say, similar but they do look a bit similar some of them here see this nice hammer here it has a very nice handle and a very uh it's actually a it's a reverse hammer right it's facing down facing down okay and this is one of the resistance this is also a resistance but it's not a hammer uh sorry this this one is also a, a good sign for reversal, but it's not a hammer, okay? Uh, yeah, so as I was explaining, now we can see that there is a bearish trend, right? We can all see that. Right now, Platinum, nobody knows how long it's gonna carry on, but we see that it's facing down. It's facing down to the next resistance, 878.5 which can possibly get to and that means that it's possible that it will turn around at this level but it could be also this and that okay so how can i be sure that it's gonna maybe it will reach here and turn around what do you think guys will it get to the yellow line or to the uh let's keep it pink i guess this one will make it, uh, we have yellow, let's make it, no, I want it to be different, uh, green or something, maybe blue. Well, what do you think, guys? Uh, platinum, is it going to turn around? Is it going to turn around here, here, or here? What What do you think that would, would make more sense? Or it's going to turn, turn around now? What, what do you think? I emailed as invited here. Does AvaTrade platform where an AI program can manage my trades without my intervention? Ooh, this could be wonderful. 
this could be wonderful hold on this is actually a pretty good question uh pete gotta gotta give you that oops uh so guys what what do you think platinum is going to reverse now it's going to reverse later it's not going to reverse at all what do you think maybe it can get all the way to the to the finish line oh we can't even see the finish line Ooh, you see where it is it's been a long time since the last time that it's been there right it's been it's been a year it's been more than a year give or take give or take okay so we, we understand support and resistance uh rachel i hope that you are watching are indicating what could possibly happen now how exactly does that help me if i don't know if it will turn around or not how can i know because let's suppose that i'm going to take here a buy as an example i'm going to take here at 878.5 yeah okay and i want to actually take profit in here take profit will be 888 okay somewhere here it's gonna it's not gonna let us uh, see that and let's it's gonna climb a, a, a bit but we're gonna live with that oh sorry okay and the stop loss let's suppose that my stop loss is going to be on the next where here 867. in this scenario guys while i'm trading suborn resistance if hypothetically i'm taking a position here with a buy and it goes back to somewhere around where it's at right now i can possibly make almost 500 dollars if it goes to the let's make it red red line i can potentially lose 575 so i could just push this guy a little higher oh sorry let's sorry i've i've uh you know what let's keep this one at this support and that one we're going to push it a little lower there we go okay and if i'll make it 875 i can also uh, only lose 175 so that means that in this scenario if i buy here and it goes there i'm gonna make almost 500. if i buy here and it goes there i'm gonna lose potentially 175. i can reduce this to 25 and then the numbers will reduce as well so support and resistance can be uh we can take advantage of support and resistance in several ways this is one of the ways okay as an example and if it would have been a, uh, a sell okay as an example so i can just place my stop loss somewhere here again okay and then i hope it to work to go down uh all the levels that we've mentioned all those candles that has a big tail at the top and head down they can show possible uh reversal this one you see it couldn't break it so it climbed back up same here it went down and then we have here bullish and bearish right oh sorry bearish and bullish right down and then up down and then up up and then down yeah same thing here you see those tails always make sure you're analyzing with candles and not with a line because with the line just going to show you that with a line you uh Hold on. Yeah. See, with the line, you don't even get to, to see the lines. Yeah, just giving you the trend, but you don't get the additions. But with the candles. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So, how to trade support resistance um can analyze 
the candles breaking support and resistance as a possible good entry or um, I don't want to say that, but you can analyze candle you know, breaking support and resistance. Uh, is an example a good ent entry? Or to close a trade. Again, it's not a formula. I just showed you that you're able to maneuver through that. But as you know, there are no guarantees, right? So does AvaTrade have a platform where AI program can, okay. So to copy somebody or maybe automated trading systems. Ava trade does not does not offer automated trading systems. However, you can trade automatically with uh, Ava Social. That's only for the regions that that it's. They, they can use it or dupli trade again guys everybody has their own account um, based on account based on account type yeah and through those those solutions what you can do is you can follow somebody on other social you have nice lists of clients you, you can just follow one of the traders and you can decide whether you want to follow him, indicate what he is doing, and then do your own uh, trading. Or you can copy somebody, and then you're going to get the results that he is getting. You got to make sure, though, that you have enough in balance. Okay, if you don't have the same budget, how will the result be the same? Um, yeah. Can you copy trade with your demo account? Um, I think so, but I'm not sure. Now, the last thing, AI, uh, AvaTrade also doesn't offer. Why doesn't it let me do it? Pete, I have a solution, but you'll have to do it by yourself. Also, you can find by yourself an expert advisor and run it on the platform okay expert advisor but not ai we don't offer that we don't have that to download you have to find it by yourself the provider and to install it by yourself and I do recommend you to first learn because otherwise, even if you have a good EA or you're following somebody who is good uh, and it can stop in the future from so many various reasons, then you um, won't be able to trade. So first, I think it's better for you to try and learn by yourself and uh, then you can have it as an addition. Uh, guys, before we carry on, I think we spoke about technical analysis and fundamental analysis pretty well, so I don't want to waste time on that. I'd rather give you the links. I'm just going to give you the links here through the uh, through the chat. I hope you see it. So this is the education. You're going to find many videos there. It's very, very nice uh, and well uh, composed. This is to make a deposit if you had enough from demo and you're ready to uh, ready to rumble. Uh, this is the help help Sentry and the fact for additional questions you may have. 
uh, this is for a real account. As I said, if you had enough from the uh, demo and you want to move on. And the academy, which is um, similar to the education, but could be a bit more specific in terms of uh, things that we've explained, you know, leverage and things like that. Also, candlesticks uh, analysis a little more comprehensively. Just a second, I'll paste it right here. There we go. And uh, the cherry on top of the cream is that I'm going to give you now a code for your account manager to be able to give you a, a, a full market premium market review. Okay, and you can just consult with them about the uh, you know your analysis and your point of view and your approach to get his, op uh, his opinion. Your account managers are not allowed to tell you uh, what to buy and what to sell and, and all of that. But I can definitely give you the surroundings. They can give you support through risk money management. And you can consult with them with whatever you want. Uh, uh, as I said in the beginning, we are a regulated company, so there is a limit but we can help you with whatever we can help and that's a lot by itself so i suggest you'll take advantage uh and that's it is there anything else we still have another two minutes so i can take a quick question if somebody else uh, somebody else has uh, anything else or otherwise i can uh, call it today anybody else has anything okay all right so i'm gonna move on uh thank you all for coming it's been a, a pleasure to give you the webinar today i wish you all great success with trading and uh, i'll see you in a week so thank you uh, so much and have a good